everyone welcome back and i'm so glad you're here with me on my channel this is walking the talk and if this is your first time honestly i am so glad to meet you you know i'd love us to be friends i'd love us to form a community of kingdom people who walk the talk so just simply click on my subscribe button as well as a notification bell so that you'll be among the first persons to get a notification when we upload a new video every week now what are we talking about today we've been talking about worship and today I want to talk about five ways to worship God acceptably it is not every worship that is acceptable worship from the scriptures reading from Hebrews chapter 10 that means that there is a way to worship and there is a way not to worship to many worship is what we do so they prioritize the doing but God prioritizes the being and that's why when he spoke to his prophet Samuel he said to him men look on the outside but he looks at the heart so what's the very first thing that shows us how worship is done acceptably number one is that it must be done with a heart of faith he that comes to God must first of all believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. So it has to be with a heart of faith. So we worship God in faith. Number two is we must worship, to worship acceptably, we must worship in the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's what the wise man in the book of Proverbs says, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So to, uh, to worship God acceptably, it must be always in the fear of the Lord. Not the fear that has torment, but a respect for God. That it, it has to be with a heart that has reverence for God. That's how we worship Him acceptably. Number three is that to worship God acceptably, we must worship Him sincerely. How sincere are we when we lift up our hands, when we bow down, when we're crying, uh, is our crying just because the sound is so good or maybe we remembered something we did wrong or we really do do love Jesus and that's why we cry so um, it, there, it has to be sincere it has to be truthful it has to be honest Jesus said in John chapter 4 he said those who will worship him must worship him not only in spirit but they've also got to worship him in truth number four is that we must worship him profusely like the woman with her alabaster box we've got to show it aw tozer in his book whatever happened to worship he said worship is to feel in the heart if you're worshiping and you don't feel in your heart then you're not worshiping profusely because your emotions your body your face your everything is involved in it so you've got to worship god profusely like the song by C.C. Winans, she wiped his feet with her hair because she loved him. How much do we love Jesus? If we love Jesus, we would worship him profusely, not minding who is around us, not minding who's criticizing us, not minding who thinks we're doing it a bit too much. It doesn't matter. Anything for Jesus. That's my that's my mantra. Anything for Jesus. And David said, I mean, why would I why would I give to God something that doesn't cost me anything? If it costs you your reputation, that's okay. If it costs you some friends, that's okay. So long as it's for Jesus, then that's fine and that's acceptable. And then number five. Number five is that our worship must always be from a pure heart. It must be in holiness and from a pure heart. Your heart must always be pure before the Lord. Jesus said we must always receive this kingdom like little children, children who love him. Our hearts must always be pure. Never come with hypocrisy, Jesus said. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Be careful not to try to impress God when we know that our hearts are detached. So worship must always be from a pure heart. I hope that blessed you today. Now, like I said, if you're if you're just joining me for the first time, you were meeting for the first time, I'd love you to be my friend. Just click on the subscription button and the notification bell. Let's build a kingdom community that walk their talk.